finish off with the lowercase z. Begins with an inverted eye stroke. Like this. It doesn't finish with the square cutoff, it comes to a point. Okay? From that point now I'll kick out and back for the descender stem loop. Like this. And come down. Curl it around. Nice curvature. And then the baseline for my connector. That's the lowercase z. And this portion here is actually a very, it comes to a point I'm picking up and curving it towards the left. So the point actually points to the left. It's not a square cutoff like an upside down I that begins the M and the N. The last letter form for the whole series is the lowercase p, and it's probably appropriate that it is last. This is a very difficult letter to make because it requires a long straight line of, through almost three spaces, and those are very difficult to maintain when you're talking about shades, even pressure. So to show you how this is done, I'm going to start off with a hairline upstroke. I'm going to go from about just below the top of the first ascender space there to the bottom of the second of the uh, bottom of the first ascender space here. That will be the extent of my letter form. Okay, so we'll go ahead and execute that load that straight stroke now, like this, square top, straight down, no hesitation, square it off. If you have to go back and touch anything up, go ahead and do it. The old master did it extensively, so there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and now I'll go ahead and finish this with the forward portion which represents a V-shape just like I would for the forward portion of the M and the N in previous videos like this curving it out and that's the lowercase p and thank you for your time this completes the lowercase letters and we'll be starting the uppercase letters soon thank you again mm -hmm.